Welcome everyone. Today is going to be a quick guide on how to bridge over to Mode Network. So if you're not familiar with Mode Network, it's another Ethereum layer 2. Basically, it's building off of the Optimism stack. So if you're familiar with Optimism and how that works, you should be familiar with how Mode works. So it's an optimistic rollup and you can bridge to it quite easily if you're already set up on Ethereum. One of the interesting things that they're doing with Mode is this referral revenue system. So basically any users, developers or protocols who refer others to Mode will earn a proportion of their network sequencer fees for life. So this is their new like sort of growth incentive and I think that's pretty interesting. I mean some of the new layer 2s coming up like Blast for example, they're introducing new mechanics for layer 2s. I think that's the only way that they're going to get users in the future. And so this is interesting for Mode as it will definitely drive community growth as everyone's incentivized to basically shill it. So in terms of how much this airdrop might actually be worth, if you think about it, Optimism, that was airdropped at roughly, I want to say like $250, $300 million. Uh, I think every person who used Optimism got like at least $500 worth of tokens. And so it's possible that we'll get something similar to that. I mean, Optimism launched basically in the middle of the bear market in 2022. Now, I don't think mode will be as big as Optimism, but we've moved on from those times and we're in a bull market again. So I reckon the airdrop might be quite large in terms of when this airdrop might actually be coming for those who have bridged to mode and started using it. Uh, I don't expect it to be for another six months to a year. So this is something that you'll have time to do and it's not urgent that you bridge over there immediately. So if you want to bridge your funds to move, you want to head over to pheasant.network and where it says select network under from, you can choose what network you want to bridge your funds from. So for this video, I'll be bridging ETH from Arbitrum 1. And then where it says select network under 2, click on that and then scroll down to mode. Once you've done that, input the amount of ETH that you want to bridge over and press send. You'll then be prompted to sign a transaction, press confirm, and then it should take about five to 10 minutes for those tokens to bridge over to move. And so whilst we're waiting for our funds to bridge over, you can head over to chainlist.org and we can add mode to our MetaMask. Search in mode in the top search bar here, then want to press add to MetaMask click the confirmation and then you should have mode added. And once you've bridged those tokens over, it should look something like this. In terms of dApps that you can use once you've bridged over your funds to mode, you have DYOR Swap Finance and then you also have Kim Exchange. So I wouldn't recommend using either of these DEXs depending on when you're watching this video. I mean, right now, because Mode is recently just gone live on its mainnet, there is almost no liquidity for token swaps. So if you're trying to swap 0.01 ETH into USDT, you're only going to receive 1.53 USDT. And then if you go to Kim Exchange, it's a little better. Uh, you're only getting 15 USDT if you do that exact same swap. 0.01 ETH should actually be worth $23.76. So as you can see, it's really not worth doing any swaps on either of these websites right now. So I'd wait a couple of weeks before you start to interact with uh, some of these move dApps. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one.